building quotes, contracts, or any other document in PDF Butter in multiple languages is not that difficult. It's actually quite easy if you know how to do it. So let's take a look how PDF Butter actually handles this. Doing multi-language, multi-core, uh, multi-branding stuff is at the core of PDF Butler. This is why we have set up PDF Butter in this way that we separate the data sources, the config types from our document. This way you can easily add different documents, translations, other brands, uh, other types of document that just require the same configuration. So you can easily do that all here and not having to duplicate your uh, configuration because this would add a lot of maintenance. Okay, let's see. We only have a default document here. Let's see if we generate it. It will automatically take the default one. So it will take the English one and it has now here the English document. If you want to expand or you want to uh, support your customers in their native language, for instance, you're in Belgium, France, uh, or you're in uh, Switzerland, Canada, well, all of these countries, they support French as, an, uh, uh, as a language. So let's see what happens if I change now my site here uh, to France um, for my customer. Just save that, quickly gonna refresh my opportunity here. I have on my opportunity, um, I have a formula field that just takes the field value of the French, uh, of the, uh, the field in, on my account. If you wanna do something more complex, uh, a complex formula or a trigger that fills in this information, all of that is perfectly possible, of course. That's, uh, that's your way of, of handling it. This one is a very simple one and it shows that with this field, I can now go and control the kind of document that I want to send out. Yeah, at this moment, I have not supplied PDF Butter with, an, uh, uh, with a separate, um, with a separate uh, uh, translated document. So if I generate, I will actually generate the English one. So now let's take a look how I can add a different language. First of all, I need to add a different, an extra alternative here. We don't call it language here because you can also use it for multi-brand or for uh, just uh, documents that look quite the same, but are not exactly the same. So you can have uh, multiple alternatives for that. The English one would look like this. That's the one we have just generated. So uh, that's a clear how it looks. For instance, the French one. It's exactly the same, except now everything is in French. Everything is translated. Okay, so let's take this document. Let's use this one and create a France, a French one. Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna add a French one here. And while I'm at it, I'm also gonna add a German one. Let's call it Germany. And let's use the German one at this moment. In just a couple of seconds, I have just added two alternatives to my uh, to my configuration: a French one, a German one, and an English one. These are now the languages that I can support. If uh, I use another language or I want to uh, do more uh, alternatives, we have customers doing up to 100 alternatives per configuration. So you just uh, write an email to support at pdfbutter.com, and we will add more alternatives in the configuration. Okay, now. That's step one. Let's take a look uh, at step two. Uh, at step two, we actually need the uh, uh, the API name of this field. So let me get that here. I'm just gonna go directly to my fields, and this is the alternative field, and this is my API name back here. Uh, so I copied the API name from here and then I'm going to do edit page and I'm going to tell um, the lightning components that it's dependent on this uh, locale. Again, if you want to do it via a button, via a process builder, via a flow, uh, Apex, all of the, these things support exactly the same, uh, the same thing. Now I'm going to indicate that I want to use this uh, uh, alternative field here. So then it will automatically use this field to define the alternative. And let's save this. Okay, so go back and let's give it a try. We changed our, uh, we changed our account to France. So now uh, the alternative field is France. If I click the button, 
I would expect the French document to show up. And yes, it took the France, the French uh, alternative for this uh, document. Now, what happens if I say that my uh, my site of my customer is in Germany? Hola. Okay, in Germany, like this one, and it's saved. Now I just refresh my opportunity. So I can show that it's now it's changed to Germany. If I now uh, change the document or add the document, then it will be in German. So this is very easy way to, uh, to actually test it. Uh, I will quickly show you a bit, another way to test your, uh, your setup and to test all of your languages. So if you do alternatives enabled, you will see that the field actually appears here. Just gonna remove this field. And when I click save, now this configuration saved in our, um, in our lightning component. And here now I can, for instance, type uh, France and I can quickly test all of my alternatives without having to change all of my data constantly. So I just click the button here, France, and I would get the France one. If I put uh, Germany here, I take the German one. See, this is how easy it is to test these kind of things. I would not do this in production, of course. This is for testing purposes uh, on production. Make sure you just have a field like the uh, like this one, a formula field or another or a drop down box, whatever, a pick list. Uh, you, uh, you choose how you set it up, but you, it's easiest to have a field that actually determines the alternative to use.